is up to cute game where being cute is within you and today's video guys is a slight little video guys it's called let your heart break so your soul can heal and um i'm gonna be giving y'all some steps and it's only three steps guys to get through this little process i know some people be um making a whole list of well i used to be that i'm people i am people so I used to make these lists of all this unnecessary stuff. Well, all the stuff made sense though, but I just got three little steps, man. Just so your soul can heal. You know, sometimes you gotta go through a break up, break up with what's causing so much pain for you to stay in. And it's so much harder just to keep every day waking up in this miserable, misery, misery. See the thing about people right in this world, they um is scared to be alone. And a lot of times alone is not bad. To be honest, my best days and my be my best life of my best life is when I've been single. So I'm gonna give y'all these little quick little three steps. Um and I want you guys to go to my IG. Go guys and follow me on IG. It's too cute Nisha at IG. Um you guys want any questions, any suggestions on any videos, you click that tell me link in the description in my bio and just answer, I mean, type a question or tell me what you think about my videos. Um, I might do the first five questions, my honest answer. I got y'all, okay? Even the bad ones. So let's get right into this video. Number one, you will have to hit rock bottom so at this point you're at a you're at a dead end road. You're like at your lowest as you can go right now. And you just, you know, you just holding on to lust, pride, ego, and all these other things. You don't want to be alone. And a lot of times, like it be lust. A lot of times it be lust, y'all. And lust ain't always um, a person. It can be anything materials any any materialistic things like clothes shoes um idols bro like god don't like when you 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 like put your energy into a person or things so much that you forgetting about him so he'll turn the heat up on that relationship and make you you know have to pray yourself out of that junk so okay if they not the right one anyways all right, so you ain't got no more fighting you love with this um person and you don't want to go through no more of this junk. So you're going to have to hit rock bottom, bro. You're going to have to hit rock bottom. A lot of times rock bottom is not bad because in the Bible it says you're going to learn some things at the bottom you, would, you wouldn't ever learn at the top of a mountain. So people who is doing the bullying like in a relationship whoever is the one was the bully in a relationship they are the ones on the top of the mountain so you is the one on the bottom like you the one that was innocent you the one tried to fight for it you the one put your effort in it not saying the other person didn't but you fought harder so like with that being said like you is the one that's gonna be at the bottom, which is good, cause you're gonna learn, you're gonna face some things that um you're gonna you're gonna learn you get gonna get taught some life learned lessons just because of a heartbreak. See, God take his strong strong his strongest people through because God people are long suffering people, and that's in the Bible too. Um so you know. When you go, when you all uh, hit rock bottom, just, just, just know guys, you're, you just got to go through this process and you're going to know God, people always win in the end. But, um, what else I wrote down? Um, yeah, um, don't think of rock bottom as a bad thing because you know, your family, your kids, even your kids, bro, they looking at you get hurt and backstabbed by this person so much and you're just so weak to just walk away. Walking away is better than being tortured every day by a person, man. So, you know, you're gonna have to boss up and take your, your pride. You're gonna have to boss up, 
take the fear away and just chunk them deuces up. All right, number two, surrender to God. This one here is more spiritual. So I don't know if this will go for people who don't believe in God, but number two is surrender to God. Now, once you hit rock bottom, that means you letting it all go. You you don't care anymore. You you know, your heart is broken. You just gonna have to go through that process. So number two, you're gonna have to surrender to God. You're gonna have to, um, you're gonna have to get washed clean, man. People don't understand that like when you giving your soul to God and you know, God, you pray God, you pray and ask God to remove a person from your life. God can't, God can't be you. He can't live in you. Well, he can live within you, but God can't be your mind and, and, and do the things you supposed to do. You, God gave you that, that gift to know how to handle a person like that or how to remove yourself out of certain situations. That's what I was looking for. So that's the gift God gave to you to know a wise man know that I'm not happy. You wake up every day, you're not happy, you're not smiling. This person is so mean and bitter. You just being bitter too, cause you just holding on to it. What's the point of holding on? hit rock bottom so once you hit rock bottom you want to surrender yourself to god wash yourself clean um and i'm gonna leave a, a scripture at the end for those who haven't gave their life to christ you know this scripture you can just read it out loud and you know wash yourself clean because when you letting go of a, a dirty relationship like that you're gonna want to clean yourself you want to start over again you want to you want to just be reborn like you renewing yourself and that junk feels so good when you just let it all go and you let god deal with the situation by removing yourself because if a person really love you they'll come back number one they'll come back and they'll come back with sense they won't come back and try to humiliate you to a certain level to keep like uh with the toxicness and the bitter all this junk like you just don't know you don't know if that person coming back to better himself or you're gonna know if that person coming back with a punch because sometimes guys when you open that door again and let that person back in the demon's gonna be 10 times more than that one you just dealt with so the pain gonna increase um, so yeah, you're going to have to surrender to God and wash yourself clean. Number three, um, you're going to have to choose pain. Everyone looking for a pain-free exit. Ain't nothing in life is going to be pain-free. You're going to have to face pain wherever you go. And I look at certain situations like relationships, it can be compared to death because sometimes love hurts so bad that it just feel like you know like you just lost the loved one like through death so you got to look at it like this okay i know everybody in this world i lost somebody done died you know and they family friends somebody they know done passed away that meant so much to them so like with that being said um the same with a relationship this not the first one some people Sometimes it be the first relationship, but if you don't have been hurt so much that you know you 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 know how to just build up your self-esteem and just walk away, bro. Like it's not that hard. So you're gonna have to go through, you're gonna have to choose that pain. Cause you're gonna be in pain either way. If you stay with them, you're gonna be in pain. So if you choose pain over that relationship, you actually like pain is not. Pain is temporary. Pain is always going to be temporary. But if you stay in that situation, that pain going to keep continuing. So you don't know how long you're going to be. Sometimes pain turn into stress and stress can kill you. So you got to think a lot about mental health too. Because certain situations, you don't want to be putting yourself into that type of pressure. And um, it causes you all type of health issues, all type of things, man, can go wrong with dealing with a toxic person. Um, 
but pain is temporary and um yeah pain is temporary so you're gonna have to um choose pain so you can break that soul tie from that person because soul ties is very hard to be broken if you're not um a spiritual person it probably can be a constant battle that you're gonna run behind a person that don't even want you around them like you gotta not even put yourself in a situation like that because that person ain't running behind you so like these little steps here these last little steps guys these is opposite from those three that i gave y'all so the first one was you'll have to hit rock bottom that's number one number two is surrender to god number three is you have to choose pain and these steps here is just like some finalizing you know things that you should think about while going through the through this um you know through this this while you cleaning your soul okay stop fantasizing don't be fantasizing about this person this person is in your past let it go it is over with that's number one number two forgive the other person you must forgive in order to move on because if you hold on to a baggage you're gonna carry that baggage to your next relationship and it's just gonna be toxic too so stop fantasizing and forgive the other person number three understand gr the grieving process understanding the grieving process is not easy grieving over death is not easy grieving over somebody you really love is not easy only time will heal just keep that in mind number four reach out for support so you gonna go to your pastor you gonna go to a counselor you're gonna talk to a friend that really been through some things that can coach you on a lot of stuff you know to up your um up your um secure securities i think that yeah up your um level of high level of security so you know, reach out to your friends and, you know, get advice from them. Don't reach out to the wrong friend. You know who is the wrong friend. If you don't want to talk to a friend, sometimes strangers is the best people to talk to. So they won't talk about you. So like reach out for support and um, take all the time you need is the last one. So guys, that sums it up with this um video. Um, I would like for you guys to like, comment, and share. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for my new people who's watching my channel. Welcome to Too Cute Game. And um, thank you guys for watching.